Yeah. You ready? We're going to get a nice wet feet now. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It wants to be in the Scottish Sea now. With... Oh. Grace One. So we just landed at Grace One. So can you bunch it to, to, next to it or not? Yeah, where that hook is, yeah? So you have to go, 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 go. Hold on to you. Be careful, man. It's, it's gotta be slippery. I think you have to jump. Yep. That's it. Oh, you, you wait for a minute. Right. Uh, pass me right. I'm going right. Yeah, so there's your camera. Right. Can you grab this bag? Yeah, I'm going to get you, pull you over. They go in cycles. And we're at the peak of a cycle at the moment, which means that the, the swells are going to be nasty. So what will happen is... The captain got us off, across. If we get off exactly 5.30, yeah. it will be dropped. Okay, so you have to get exactly yeah. out of here. Exactly 5.30 and yeah. you won't get any of this crap. Well, let's get to the top. And let's go. Again. So yeah, we made it onto the rig. Hey guys, honestly, you don't realise how big these are until you're actually standing on them. I need to wipe the lens. A whole wave completely went over my camera, so I'm, I really hope this footage is going to be all right. But we made it, guys. This is like stepping on the island. My feet are literally soaked. The way we had to get on was jump straight from the side of the boat straight onto here. This is a mission that we've nearly completed. And the only reason I say we nearly were not back on shore. We don't find a scaffold. Just, ah, we're going to use the steps. Are we steps. getting up? <laughs> just the steps. Don't... We're ready. Just going up the I'm back at day two with uh, Steve Ronin and Dave, abandoned world explorer. So, uh, yeah, we are back, folks. <laughs> well. And you've only just started, mate. I know. Wow. <laughs> I normally write the highs, but it's Call it sign heart. Yeah. yeah. And I won't feel very good about it.
from Eddie Howe. I just didn't look down, that's all I'm going to say. That seems to work for me. Steve is a mentalist. I've seen him going up Chernobyl on an antenna. Yeah, I did. And like, he must have been like three, four hundred feet up. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm <laughs> afraid of people different like when you were in the water, you didn't like it. Yeah. And me with the steps, I didn't like that. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind heights at all, it's just the water because I can't swim. Wow. Well, it's good job my camera somewhere. Fair play. I, I went a bit slower than that when I was going up there yesterday. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Oh, we're back, folks. So you explore around there already? I did yesterday. We had a, a good explore in there, but uh, I'm sure I didn't see a lot because we were on a tight schedule. So, yeah, a bit more time, more time today. Time. Yeah. Right, so we're back on the upper decks. What have we got and in some of these areas? Hmm. What's that look like? Oh. That it looked like um, breathing apparatus, but maybe not. Closed. Why is it closed? Mm. What's the deal? Mm. Sprinkler test inside. Ooh. Cupboard. Cleaning cupboard. Cleaning cupboard of some description. Exit for emergency use only. Right, helicopter deck. Didn't see this first time round. Whoa. Right. We're over here and Oh boy, the waves were quite rough. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back when the slack tide is at uh, uh, 5.30, that's when we're gonna try it. Hmm, how do you get up here then? This is the heli deck, look folks. This is the helicopter landing deck. Wow. And all these ropes are to catch the feet of the helicopter if it skids off the edge. It'll skid off the edge, but it could just then flip and fall into the sea. Whoa, and that's what that uh, cable stuff is in the middle. It's, um, it's to actually uh, catch. So if it starts skidding or blowing, it'll just grip in. Wow, look at that. There's the view. There's the view. I don't think we're going to be visiting any more uh, oil rigs today because weather conditions are not brilliant, to be perfectly honest. So yeah. So this is uh, solid enough to hold on to a helicopter. Yeah. Wow. I'm not even sure I can see my car from here. I really don't know. I can work out where it is. It's out there somewhere. And you can see the sea is rough, rough here, and it gets better as we go across. But this is the worst bit for the sea. So the sea gets really quite nasty. So here we are. The deck on the edge. You can see the waves here. It was really quite severe when we were up here a minute ago. Uh, getting on this thing today was not nice. It was not nice at all. So I'm uh, not looking forward to uh, how we're going to launch the uh, the boat back in the water because we had to get the boat up out of the water and uh, on the edge. 
of the of this thing here because it would just be, be beaten and smashed up against the uh, against the edge otherwise, which would not have been good. Oh, all these heights. Not good with the heights. Wow, this is right over the edge, look. Oh my god. Actually this helicopter walkway is off the edge. Oh. Oh. oh I'm looking for signs of rust. Yeah, there is rust. <laughs> oh yeah, there's rust. There is rust. I really don't like this. Oh, look at the like legs and everything. Ugh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Why would people want to walk on this coming in? Ah, oh, it's just do my head it's doing my head oh it makes noises this stuff when you walk on it it makes noises mm -hmm. no I want to go back in I want to go back in oh don't say it's a bloody padlock oh piss off whoa oh, wankers bloody padlock so I've got to carry on Doing that shit again. Oh, right. Like firefighters in gear. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, another lock. Bastards. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's better. We've got some oh bits of rust falling off what I'm walking on. That's why I got my hand on the handrail. I don't trust it. Beware of tail rotor and engine exhaust. Yeah, whatever. So you, you literally can't get back in if you go up here. That's it. It's like game over. Well that was a waste of time. Yeah, complete waste of time. Oh, I feel a bit safer on the big, thick metal helipad. Yeah. Ooh. So at least I've done the helipad. And that is um, their fueling station for the Jet A1 fuel lock. And uh, so they literally roll it out there, pull it out. And that little thing on the right hand side reads up how many litres you've had. Wow. Refueling on, on the station itself. And that's the control, control room for the uh, helipad. Shall we go and have a look at the control room for the helipad? It's got to be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, look. Oh, it's firefighting. Look, this is a foam, foam cannon. So you, you turn the cannon up and down and you can unlock whoa that was a bit extreme yeah so you can push it up and down and you've got to lock it off but it's very easy to do but you can just spray spray the older uh, helicopter um yeah fire pump running valve on off fire pumps Ooh. it's a bit rusty this old uh this thing oh, here we go there we go. Oh, door is seized. Door is seized. Wow. Yes. Doesn't work. <laughs> Does not work. What's that then? Don't know. There's two of them. That's a heater. Look, keep it warm. And look, just somewhere where you can safely watch to make sure nothing goes wrong. I wonder if this glass is reinforced so if a helicopter blade comes off it's not going to bang you in the uh, eye. Oh, these are all fuel test containers. So like you take fuel 
and you let it settle and you check to make sure there's no water in it. So that's for fuel testing. Wow. Right then, we'll take, should we take the exciting way down? Or the boring, I'm gonna take the boring way down because all of those rungs are all rusted and we don't want to have our hands getting chopped up by the rust. Ah, so that's the pilot house. Loads of lead acid batteries on the roof over there of the pilot house. But somewhere there has to be all the uh, the flashing lights. Uh, they might be solar powered, I don't know. But I haven't seen any solar panels. So I don't know what's going on there. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? These things have got like mega gravel uh, embedded into them so you don't slip. It's like the ultimate non-slip surface. It's like pointy sharp gravel to catch your uh, shoes. There you go. Please close this door. Uh, please close this door, otherwise it obstructs the MWD door. Mm. This is the, uh, look, there's a massive pipe there. And again, this is the drill equipment that are dropping crap down there. So, as you can see, big old, uh, big old rubber pipe. Don't see them that big very often. got in this place then. They asked me to close the door but the door does not close. Uh, so this is back into the uh, back into the crew quarters. So we can go to the opposite side and see if there's anything different over there. So I don't know what's in this little building. And is this one unlocked? Let's find out. Right, it says emergency use only. There we are. Just more of the more of the same basically. Distribution board. Woo! Distribution. Mm. Yeah. So it's just all the crew live on the upper quarters. So they keep it like a house basically, you know, you sleep in the upstairs and all the equipment is downstairs. But if you think about it, if there's a fire, all the all the fire goes upstairs. So maybe it'd be better to have the equipment upstairs. So they've all got tellies, look. Samsung telly. it to the helipad or below it yeah it's locked that would be to the helipad that was the one we saw that was locked Turning. Hang on. Is that 
it turning. Oh, exit there, I'll we'll walk straight past it. This takes us back into the main main wing. Hmm. these things in Sabre Elsa oh it's a um, fire hood look, look that. put it on over your head put the hood on your head and then you can run around for 15 minutes wow. another one on the floor look. and yeah they're green they're green so they're all still pumped up Ooh, don't slam door people are sleeping yeah, so that's the way we came in. That door was open when we came in. Maybe we should lock them. I like, I like the locks look. Pretty mad, isn't it? Secure locks. Hel oh, what am I doing? Uh, helicopter danger areas, escape routes. Yeah, Eurocopter, Super Puma. We've seen all these. What are these then? And they're just, um, oh, training things, but punch training. So this is more crew cabin. A more crew cabin that way. Hmm. So I reckon we could have a hundred people on board here, yeah, maybe. What's going on with this then? Is it not following? Let me just check what's going on. Tilt locked. Follow. There we are. So, yeah. I don't know if this is recording properly, but... I haven't seen anybody for quite some time. Junk What's this? Little foam thing. Hmm. He's got a proper size shower there, look. Mm. And uh, two beds, but a desk as well. Must be our main supervisor, look. So main supervisor gets a slightly, slightly sexier, sexier sort of thing. Medic. I think we saw, saw this one, didn't we? Medic. So the medic bunks up. Oh yeah, and the medic. Medic room, yeah. They have got some supplies here, but they're only uh, bandages. Look, bandages of different sizes. Everything else is gone. Oh look, special, uh, special toilet for the uh, for the doctor. I can hear somebody walking around. supplies have been taken. So what's this down here? Look, what's this little bag? It? Oh it's um it's a breathing mask. Yeah all these all these have been emptied. Whoa. Hello? How are you doing? It's panicking. 
cameras and literally my and Steve's, his batteries have got all funny and mine keeps going off and back on. Well, that's it. I mean, get what you can then. I think we're lucky to be here at all, really, so. Yeah. Ooh, shit. I'm going to have to um, probably jump on my GoPro in a minute. Yeah. That's what I should have used over here anyway. Have you checked there's no moisture in your lens when you open it up on the contacts? Yeah, I took the lens off and there was water in beyond there. Yeah, you need to dry that off then. Because it might be... the filter off as well. Yeah. Because it might be interfering with it if it sees that, so... Yeah, standing in here you can see like the kind of Wiegans and stuff. The Wiegans, yeah. Apparently, it's a cinema on board as well. Yeah, there is a room where there's loads of seats facing a wall. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not far from where we are here. So, emergency release anchor. Look, you can release the anchors. Ching, 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 ching. Release anchors, anchors away, and then the, the station will float. Oh, I don't think I saw this room. Wow, look at this. This CCTV station. You can move the cameras around. Look with a joystick. And CCTV station. Wow. God. Look, they've even left like things like hard drives here. What's this? An 80 gigabyte hard drive. Look, joysticks. Move the camera around. Wow. And proper control system. Number of screens. What's this then? Topaz. Systems. Oh, you actually sign your name like it's a pen. Sign your name, digital, digital signature systems. Wow. So, oh, look at all this. <gasps> Alarms. Alarm systems. And uh, you'd have to open this up, look. Wow. Look, wedge locks. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Pipe rams. Do -do -do. I'm not going to push them just in case they do something. I mean, even though the power's off, there might be emergency systems still powering some of this stuff. But look, wedge lock, upper pipe rams, mobile pipe rams, lower pipe rams, spare, lower kill, inner choke, outer choke. I mean, this is like crazy. Diverter packer, um, lockdowns, overboard selector, port overboard, starboard overboard, shale shaker. You know, overboard, port overboard, and starboard overboard is the boats. So if you press those, shumpf, yeah. Wow, look at these pressure gauges, like, you know, telling you. A bit like Star Trek, you know, the old, um, boo, 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 tell you what's going on. What, binoculars? Wow. Hello. Hey, Matt. How are you doing? This is a this is an interesting room. This one. Yeah, the superintendent office. Yeah, but he's got buttons there to release the anchors. Oh wow! And like no you know, way. drop the anchors and let the thing fl float away, you know, and and to release all the uh, um, lifeboats. So it's all on the panel. All of them are named. What's That's on crazy. there? So this controls the lifeboats, huh? This is like one of the most important stations on the ship. I would say. Mm. Let's just take the lifeboat out of here. Yeah, Dan was thinking about it. <laughs> I didn't really want to get on it myself to find out whether it was working. Alright. Yeah. Well, printers, computers. Whoa. Right. Clean boot covers. <laughs> Oh, there's the other side. Um, this is the other lifeboats. Grace one. So you have to climb on the back. Climb in. When you're in there, they'll lower you down. And you have a really rough ride. Wow, this the swell has changed. It's now, it's now going out. It's now going out. It's blowing the other way. Or is it? No, no, no. I'm facing. I'm still... No, I'm facing the original way. The swell is still coming that way. 
Okay, yeah, no, I've re- re- reorganised my where I think I am because I was looking at those and I was like, oh, that's out to the sea, but it's not. It's out to uh, land. So, hmm. Oh, why am I point? I'm pointing at the sky. Um, I think my I think my gimbal is has a problem. It's uh, I think it's filming where it wants to film. I'm going to turn it off. Uh oh, camera's gone wrong. I'm going to turn it off, folks. Camera's playing up. So good to see you again. But yeah, this is what water does to electronics. Oh, it's started working again now. I just found a battery room. Oh no, it's not. Disconnect it. Right, so there's a battery room. And there's a fire room with uh, fire hoses and a uh, fire handle. Look, so this is the fire room. So, uh, yeah. TRX NAT. TRX NAT transformer room TRX NAT control fan room wow it's all like opening these doors and leaving them open I don't like walking on these watery patches so just wonder whether they can go through AC room air conditioning room check in at radio room okay what have we got here then air conditioning room just massive pumps basically massive pumps to get the air conditioning working okay Shakers. Shakers. Oh, it's got a lock on it, look. It's locked. Crane operator. It's a huge crane. For getting supplies in, probably. Getting supplies to the station in. Wow. It's the only type of crane operator's room I probably would go in because it's not it's not incredibly far down there's that um, there's that thing that we whoops I've got a bit of splinter uh, there's that thing that they lift the crane operator you can lift people into position there's another crane over there look so they've got two cranes and there's the uh, there's the tower I don't think I'd really want to climb up there no no I leave that to some mental patients. Not for me. Not for me. So what are these swells doing out here then? Let's go and have a look, see if they got any better. Ooh. These swells up to doesn't look so bad, actually. Which is like I was saying to them, it's gonna get better, and when it gets better we need to go and it's better so i don't want to wait till it gets shitter so let's have a little look up at the uh the crane that might be good fun let's go and check the crane out let's go and check this out folks this crane bloody hell I wonder if we can get up into the crane then oh it's 
Что решили? Вау! О, кон! Кон! You can walk up the crane. Can you imagine doing that? I don't really, I don't really want to do that. Look, you can walk all the way up, but I don't really want to. So, how does one get in here then? How do you get in here? How does the operator get inside? Oh, I see you go around the back. Like, what the hell is this? So you gotta climb over this gap and go in the other side. Whoa, that rusted crane equipment. Ooh, you got a good view from up here, look. This is quite nice. I bet you this is locked, come on. It's bound to be locked. <gasps> it's not locked. Nothing's locked in this place, folks. Look at this, this door. Could lock it. Oh, bloody hell. That crane operator. Now that is an important uh, position. Crane operator with his console and his joysticks, look. And his buttons and... Wow. Look, he's got his own air conditioning unit, look. All the mod cons. He can even open the roof, look. He can open the roof if he wants to. It's got... It's got a windscreen wiper for the front and for up there so he can view the cables to see if they're flapping. Probably. Wow, and he's got a little foot switch down there. I bet if he takes his foot off that, it stops operating. It's a dead man switch, so he has to have his foot on that switch to operate anything. Otherwise, if he slumped over the controls, and he sort of like slumped over it, it'd be like, boom, you know, so, wow. Hand signals, look, I'll tell you what the hand signals are here. Oh, he's got his own little uh, fire extinguisher. Well, I never thought I'd be standing in one of these today. Never thought it. Shall I come sit in his chair then? It's got to be done, isn't it, really? Let's come sit in his chair. Ooh. Oh, it's 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 got it's got a softener. It's like oh my god, it's got a it's got a it's got a softener. So when you go up and down, it's like <laughs> wow. Look at this, folks. Don't think I'd really want to climb up the real thing and start messing around with it. Wow. There's a little metal slider on the side, look, as well. I don't even know what that is. Look, crane TV system. Look at this. Look, crane TV... Oh, it's gone up. Crane... No. Oh, it still wants to go up for some reason. Crane TV system, look. Yeah. Crane TV. So this is for lighting systems. That's a, a hoist, emergency stop, and just so many buttons. Oh my god. Beep, 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 beep. And it's by Lieber, German company. They were making the robotic stuff in the Ford factory. Lieber. Wow. Wow. These these cranes though, they are wobbly things and you can see the the walkway up the crane there which i don't think they put walkways on a lot of cranes because they don't want people walking along them but with this specific purpose on an oil rig they do have a walkway up there how mad is that hmm it's called an mtc 2600 50d litronic that's the model of this crane wow God, I just can't imagine sitting up here with like 30 meter waves boosh, boosh, operating a bloody crane and it going err, err, in the wind and, and like, really? Nah, I, I think I'll leave that to the professionals. I think it's the sort of thing that they they get excited by and, and I get uh, rather um, shocked by. Look at this. Look at this. 
What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? How do you release it again? It's like a little sun visor. You gotta pull this handle and it comes back up. How cool is that? Ready? Ready for this, folks? <laughs> oh my god. This is nuts. So we are. There's the seat. Look, it's got, even got the name of the company, Lieber. 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 Paid a bit of money working in this. A crane driver's job on an oil rig. I bet that's very well paid. Look, a little seat for your mate. A little seat. Wow. There we go. Wow. We've seen it all, haven't we, folks? We've seen it all. You can see the Lieber on the side of that crane there. Not such a long one, I don't think, that one. Slightly smaller crane. I've done that then. Oh look, seen better days. Oh, it vibrates when you slam that door, the whole crane just goes Oh, yeah. Engine room for the crane. All its pumps and electrics and all that malarkey in here. Whoa, don't quite know. Oh, oh. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. This, folks, all this. Ho, 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 ho. Never seen so one of those before. Let's make sure it's all locked back up. And this is right over the edge of the whole thing, no doubt. Which is the views I don't like. go folks that's it right I don't know where everybody is but I just got a message so let's just check my phone okay uh, probably need to start wrapping up your filming in about 15 minutes so we're ready to put in the water at exactly half past because I'm gonna keep this to exactly to time because I don't want to mess around because the, uh, the tides are that nasty today with the swells. Mm. enter until given approval by crane operator and the crane has been shut down. Oh, these pipes. Ready out. Right, so let's go for another little walky walk. safety unless it's where it's been rubbed off <laughs> by so many hands but it then becomes unsafe there's no yellow on it how can they how can they do this oh what's this then oh, I didn't have a look in here this is a machine shop so look they've got a, a drill um, oh like sample containers Sam samples or drills no, resistors. Very old voltmeter. Avometers, yes, man. Yeah. What else? Look at the size of those spanners. Look at those. Bloody massive. 
massive. Oh, tools, electrical connectors, transmitter, cable indicator transmitter. That's all that then. Transmitter. Ooh, what the hell's that? What is this? Oh look, it's like a pipe thing for shoving along pipes. No way. Bloody hell. God. Screws, bolts, indication stuff for putting on ropes and wires. Uh, that's some sort of like uh, climbing harnesses. For people who are going to climb up outside. Wow. Mmm. Wow, look at it all. All just strewn around, thrown about. Makes you wonder what they're going to salvage from this place because, like, you know, stuff like that would sell for a few quid. But it just might not be economically viable for them to transport it off here because the amount it costs to transport stuff. So. Oh, another room. Bloody hell. Oh, that's all the books. Books. Ah, The Wall of Shame. Broken arm, Lemsip. Broken arm. Now you can take me out, Nomad, but you can not take the nom Nomad out of me. More of pre drag. Pasta Tagliatelle Chorizo. Welcome to the princess, lads. Mmm, bloody hell. Yeah. Yep. Thought porta potty. Porta potty, oh my god. So, is that all they got up here? That's all that down there. That's an Xbox. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, I've got to pull up my uh, trousers a minute. Oh, hello. Right, we're gonna we're gonna have to start thinking about getting ready for half past to get off. We're going to have to start thinking about getting ready for half past because it's five o'clock now. So I'll uh, I'll see you down the bottom. I'm going to go down and just check the wind and wave conditions down there. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, man. Hidden away right inside you, I found the diesel generators. Look, look at these. One, two, three, four. Four diesel generators. Wow. Wow. That's something, isn't it? Bloody hell. Whoa. High voltage exit. See that we can get out. Right, I know where we are now. So control room keep closed at sea. Wow, there's beeping going on in here. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, they've got duplicate controls to operate the, uh, the ship here, look. Wow. Wow.
しゃれGuys, oh, you're up there. I, I hope somebody had the waves earlier on because they were going goosh over here and they were literally hitting the boat and they could have moved the boat along. So now we've got slack tide. It's between high tide and low tide. You get a slack point and look, it's calmed down and we've got like five minutes. We've got to get in the water and we've got to get out of this nasty zone because this is the worst place for the tide. So we're going to do it. Yeah. Did you catch footage of this when it was like really crazy earlier? I think so, yeah. Excellent, because it was mental. Now we've got to get in this now before it starts. We've got five minutes before, five minutes after, then the next really tide calm. starts. Yeah. So we've got to get this shit on. We're making it out alive. We're making it. Peace out. I'm never coming back. <laughs> so yeah, we are. Uh, we're on a time scale. I was five minutes late coming out. Apologies. That's all right. Um, yeah, five minutes before, five minutes before, after. You'd be surprised how crazy yeah, it is. And, and the tide is coming in. When the tide comes in, it's crazier than when it's going out. So we want to get out to this channel because this bit here is the worst bit. Alright. Shit out of Christ! Whoa, I'm not gonna lie, that was that was quite intense. I think I was more scared going over, I'm not gonna lie. It was, yes. especially landing. And when we yeah, when we came up to the side and it's that fact of jumping off quick and then I see my camera tight go over it oh. and then I literally run, let go of the rope with these guys. To sacrifice us. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm, just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just I'm wasn't thinking. Yeah, but I, if you look at it on that, in that point of uh, point of view, then yeah, I kind of ditched. No, them. you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, I hope not anyway. But um, yeah, let's get on to shore. We're literally on ground. How nice does that feel, though, it's to so be good. back? It's <laughs> nice that we don't have to go through that ever again. Oh. You were lucky you came at the right Matt, time. Matt, you was a star, honestly. He yeah, got us across. Yeah, you know, you've got to know your tides, know your tides, and know your weather. That's what they say, it's tides, tides, and weather. If you if you don't know anything about that stuff, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, so honestly, guys, if you know where this is as well, don't try it, please. Don't try it. We had honestly, a professional with us, the legend Matthew Williams. Yeah, Matthew's Unless you bring Matthew Williams. Would you ever come here again, Matt? Uh, I would come here again, but to be perfectly honest, if you don't know what you're doing, Right? And, and you got off there on the wrong time, you could die. And yeah. I, I'm not even kidding. No, 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 I'll, I'll totally saying, give you. I'm not saying to stop you trying it, but you could easily die doing what we did. So, you know. And it's 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 basically, when we got up there and you think the tire today was quite choppy, but not as bad as it probably can get. And it was literally, as we were pulling up, it was throwing us and the boat up to the side of that. And at any second it could have tipped or anything, I reckon. So 